What's up y'all, Kazax here. This video will be an overview of the key mapping that I find to be most effective in Escape from Tarkov. If this video ends up helping you guys out, or if you simply enjoy your viewing experience, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this. So firstly, there are several controls that are bound to the alt button that I like to switch off of the alt button. The first one of these that would be the smooth lean to control A and control D. This one's not quite as necessary as the other control remappings that I'll explain shortly will be. However, this just keeps consistency in the moments ahead. I'll come back to this, to it'll make more sense. Next, I highly recommend you switch the grenade throw from a single press to a double press. The reason for this being if you accidentally just hit the G key, let's say you're just reaching over to scratch your head or something, or maybe you take a sip of water, anything, and you remove your hand from the keyboard and place it back down on the incorrect spot or just graze it, maybe your cat steps on your keyboard, you may end up throwing a grenade at a very inopportune time in a very small room that you and the rest of your team happen to be guarding and potentially causing great issues, if not death, to you and your team. This is a simple fix, I just recommend you switch the grenade throw to a double click to avoid situations like this. A double click is much harder to accidentally do and will result in almost all of your grenade throws being a result of you actually wanting to throw a grenade. Next, I would change the overhead blind fire to the control and W button and the right side blind fire to the control and S button. The purpose of this being instead of alt, alt is also bound to controls like checking your chamber and checking your magazine and you'll often want to do this while you're moving around. Uh, and I found that whenever I would try to check my magazine, especially while I was walking forward, it would cause me to start overhead blind firing. This is a simple fix, so if you just go ahead and toss it on the control button, it's a button you end up pressing a lot less frequently than the alt, and this will allow you to continue to moving while you check your magazine, as well as overhead blind fire and right side blind fire just as easily, and when you intend to. Next, I would recommend you set the side step from Alt plus Q and Alt plus E to Control plus Q and Control plus E. This keeps the uniformity of all of the rest of the controls that I was saying, and is why I recommend you also change the smooth lean so it just all makes sense. Control is a less frequently used button than Alt, so I like to get that Alt cleared up. Next, I highly recommend changing the hold breath to continuous, so that this way you will hold your breath while you hold down the Alt button versus a toggle, which I found to be much less intuitive. This makes the uh, hold breath functionality more similar to games such as Battlefield or Call of Duty, in my opinion. The last thing I recommend you change is the scoping buttons. Instead of being from page up and page down, I recommend, now if you have a mouse, most modern mice will have a, a mouse three and a mouse four button. If you do have these buttons, these are the buttons I'm referring to here. If you do have these buttons, I highly recommend you just put the sighting on these buttons. That way, whenever you're scoped down, you can easily zero your scope with your gun without having to reach your entire hand across your keyboard to do so. I find myself needing to do this very, very often so it's very inconvenient to have to move an entire hand either off of my mouse or off of my movement keys and general hand position just to re-zero in a time where if I'm re-zeroing I likely see an enemy ahead at a distance or need to re-zero it down because they're close to me and this is a time sensitive matter therefore I found this to be a lot more effective now if you don't have these buttons I might recommend you go and find a mouse that does however another control scheme that could work could be to set it maybe to something like the arrow keys instead so there's just a bit easier to find them quickly or possibly just set it to a button that is closer to your movement keys so your hand does not need to travel near as far to do so so these are just my recommendations for keybind remappings and what you'll see me using on stream and in other videos. Like I said, these are just what I like for the reasons I provided, but they may not be for everyone. If these helped you out, if you have other suggestions, or you feel something was left out, please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear what y'all think. So we're in the process of upgrading all of our studio equipment here at Calzax Gaming, so stay tuned for more videos, streams, and other gaming content coming your way quickly. After we finish revamping our studio, I'll be planning to stream on a set schedule, so I hope to catch you guys there for that. We also have a Discord available to join in the description. Thanks for watching, y'all, and catch you on the next one.